Hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Junsu Lee from Sogang University. The title of my talk is The Design and Fabrication of Intravascular Focused Ultrasound Transducers. In IBOS imaging, a transducer is <coughs> inserted into a blood vessel and rotated to obtain image data. All IBOS transducers have either a circular or a square aperture. Each aperture size is typically less than 0.5 mm in diameter to be easily inserted into a blood vessel. The size of IBOS catheters containing an ultrasound transducer is less than 1 mm, mm for large vessel application. Due to its small aperture size, a geometric focus cannot be employed for the current IBOS imaging. So useful imaging data are available after a natural focal depth determined by approach size and wavelength. As a result, the lateral resolution becomes lower as the imaging depth increases. If the approach size or both center frequency or center frequency or both increases to locate the focal depth deeper than the, than the region of interest, the geometric focusing can be used. To overcome the limitation, we propose the new concept, Iboson Ultrasound, Ibos Transducer. In general, the width of an Ibos Transducer should be much less than the diameter of a blood vessel, but its length is relatively free from the limitation. Using these characteristics, our proposed transducer has an oblong shape aperture along a blood vessel. Now the approach can be spherically shaped to conduct a geometric focus because its natural focal depth becomes deeper than the original. Sorry. <coughs> each natural focal depth becomes deeper than the region of interest due to increase in aperture size. By doing so, we can achieve a narrow slice thickness as well as lateral focus in the region of interest. To see the performance of the proposed transducer, we conducted two simulation. As shown in figure one, the flat transducer produced the same beam pattern in lateral and elevation direction. In contrast, the proposed transducer had the different beam pattern due to each elevation focusing. We examined the lateral beam profile at each depth as shown in figure 2. Although the minus 6 dB beam widths were similar, each other the proposed transducer had side lobes lower than flat transducer. To verify the simulation result, we designed and fabricated the conventional and elevation focused IBOS transducer. Design parameters of which transducer were same except for the aperture size and focal depth. The center frequency is selected to 50 MHz. The natural focal depth, the conventional transduce is measured to be about 2.3 mm from field to simulation. On the other hand, the focal depth of the proposed transduce is determined to 3 mm. An active PGT, an active material was PGT5H of 40 micrometer thickness. The first matching and second matching layer were used as silver epoxy of 7 micrometer and perlin C of 9 micrometer. Backing layer is selected to isolate 3022. The thickness of each layer was determined based on pH CAD simulation result. We verified the performance of those IBOS transducer fabricated in this study through post echo test, wild phantom test, and tissue mimicking phantom test.
For this, a motorized system was developed to acquire imaging data as shown in this figure. The pulse receiver system was used to transmit ultrasound and to receive echo signals. The echo signals were digitized and recorded by gauge kind in personal computer. For the for IVOS images, the rotary stage was turned at a 0.36 degree. Increment after getting one scanline data and the data acquisition process was repeated for, ne for the next scanline. This shows the pulse echo result of the conventional IBUS and elevation focused IBUS transmitter. Their center frequency were same or similar, which were 54 MHz and 53 MHz. However, the minus 60 dB band, fractional bandwidth of the elevation focused transducer was narrower than that of the conventional transducer. These are 25 microwire target images acquired the conventional transducer and the proposed transducer. We can observe that special resolution of the proposed transducer is superior to that of the conventional transducer. When we take a look at the lateral beam profile of each image, this becomes more obvious. As we show the simulation results, the minus 60 b lateral beam width of each transducer are similar because their aperture widths are same. However, the side lobes of the proposed transducer are lower than that of the conventional transducer. This is due to the effect of the narrow slice thickness as well as the lateral focusing. The exceptional case is the lateral beam profile at 5 mm in which the proposed transducer has a high side lobe level. This is because the signal strength of the proposed transducer fabricated for this study is lower than that of the conventional transducer and thus a sufficient signal to noise duration cannot be secured at 5 mm depth. However, the experimental results generally agree well with the simulation result. The effect of low side lobes can be seen from these tissue mimicking phantom images. The speckle images from the conventional transducer are broadened in the lateral direction, but those from the proposed trans appeared more conspicuous. Also, the boundary between the world and the phantom is more distinct in the case of the proposed transducer. As a result, the proposed transducer improved the sharpness of the boundary due to lower side lobes, lobe levels. Conclusions An elevation focused IBUS transducer has been proposed to improve spatial and con contrast resolutions. Both square shape and oblong shape focused IBUS transducer were designed and fabricated to evaluate the performance of the proposed method. The experimental research indicate that the proposed IBUS transducer is capable of providing a low side lower level rather than the conventional IBUS transducer thus improving spatial and contrast resolutions. Acknowledgement, thanks for applying. Thank you.